Hello, welcome to a let's play of Lost Planet 3. I am Count Zero. Last time we had another stupid survival sequence, this time in our giant robot. I gotta say, I really prefer... Like, in order of preferences of how I like the game, like... Either how I like the gameplay, I prefer exploration-based combat sequences. Attention, heavy cargo tram is docked and ready. That's, that's my ideal situation I'm getting. Maybe some, um, followed by that, some... Short survival sequences. Is kind of how I like them in terms of where you have a whole bunch of enemies coming at once and just fight them off. As far as if you're playing them solo, going multiplayer, I can I can go the survival sequence just fine. Because in the multiplayer, you have someone to watch your back, or hell, even if you have an AI partner, that helps a lot. That's why I tolerate those and in case you enjoy those in Gears of War. Because you have teammates, you have banter, you have something else in the equation other than just you and making things less frustrating. Whereas if it's just you solo in a survival sequence, there is a certain degree of team there where it's you're not really getting anything new each time unless you manage to beat a bunch of enemies or what have you. So let's turn this in and see what we learn. All right. James, come look at the contaminant readings. They're practically non-existent. This may be the purest reading we've ever seen. Pure the prize Coronas is looking for is in the very thing trying to knock them down a crevasse. You're telling me these dorms are somehow powered by the purest tea energy on the planet? You're sure that's good news? Good or bad remains to be seen. But if we find where the storms are coming from... Maybe we find the mother load of pure tea energy. And while Nevin uses it to solve the energy crisis on Earth, we get rich and get home. Sure. And also lay eyes on one of the rarest, most mysterious zones of the universe. If you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, totally. That too. I'll take some time to flip past all the data we just took in. I'll let you know what comes of it. Okay. Meanwhile, I hate to send you off empty-handed. Still, I think Braddock would appreciate this. I got that part repaired for you if you want to come pick it up now. It was a bitch. Alright, hopefully Gail doesn't ask too many questions about where I got it from. I got enough cash here where I can hopefully get some serious upgrades on my uh, weapons. To head back to the uh, outcast after the uh, forgotten settlement. I need to be able to like fast travel before I get to the edge of the settlement, uh, edge of the uh, map area. I'm Nerissa Rock. And I'm Arthur Beagle. You're listening to GPR, Galactic Public Radio, broadcasting and podcasting around the solar system, thanks to the generous support of Neo Venus Construction <laughs> and listeners like you. <laughs> On tonight's broadcast, a look back at the Kettleman Mining Colony 30 years after the depletion. Quarterly energy figures are out. Is the crisis worsening? And austerity riots continue to spread. What protesters are demanding now? All this and more on tonight's All in All. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. 
any upgrades here I can buy. That'd be kind of nice. I think I bought every, all the upgrades I can get here, but you never know. For the shotgun. Hey, what's the rumpus, Jim? Grenade upgrade, don't have that. See now, that's how I know you're a connoisseur. Throws a straight line and blow- See you later, Jim! Oh, I got a grenade upgrade, nice. That is actually very useful for alternate grenade type. What you got? Here you go, dude. Thanks for helping me keep my ancient water purifier controller skills sharp. Perfect. All right, so the luck dropped this off. Big up another weapon upgrade. We should be good to go. Right. I wish there was some fast travel and something closer to the outpost. Because trudging along on the robot is tedious as hell. There's a this is what they say on the uh, um, Watch Out for Fireballs po podcast, where the good reward for doing well at the game is more game. And that's true when you're when, when giving parts of the game you like. But having to do the same thing over and over again for a few long bits of trudging and, non and basically non-interactivity is at best boring and is at worst Actually, no, boring's the worst thing a game can be, never mind. Is at worst boring, and is at best... No, it's just boring. Never mind. Yeah, yeah that's basically, what that, all that sequence that I just did accounted for, or resulted in, is me walking across an area of, is getting a loading screen, walking across an area of map, and going to another loading screen. Ideally, what fast travel gets you is skipping one of the loading, intermediary loading screens. You just go straight through the relevant area, where our loading screen takes me right here, as opposed to map directly before it, and I just have the one hike here. Only one loading screen, only one chunk of time sat there waiting for crap to come into, 
commandments. You're, you're just going, okay, from a software standpoint, from a memory standpoint, next to an optimization standpoint, what you're telling the computer, what you're telling the system, is just load this map. Just take me straight to this map. Load in the assets for here. That's all you need to do. And you do that right, and it's good. It saves you time, saves effort, um, saves loading off the disk, or efficiently uses the resources of the system, and uses and wastes less of the player's time. But instead, the way this game handles it is, go to, take a loading screen to get to this one map that's one spot away from the out settlement. Then walk to the settlement. Well, then get a loading screen while you walk to the settlement. Once you reach the settlement, or the entrance settlement, get a loading screen to come into the settlement. Which is tedious as hell. Doesn't get me to where I need to be in the game faster. Because of the game, they spend a lot of time loading and unload, loading and unloading, and so forth and so on. Chunks of game. A rangefinder. All right, let's turn this in. Jim, you're back. Jim, yeah. you're back. Well, I was in the neighborhood. Just had to drop by the wood. I was in that neighborhood. Just had to drop by this widget you asked for. You found a replacement. The water purifier controller. Oh, oh. You found a replacement. Yeah. I'll do the More trick. of a refurbishment job. Thank you, Jim. I'll do the trick. I have something for you. Thank you, Jim. I have something for you. Well, your man brought answers. There is in your man found a drop concern. There is false information on this rider concerning the spatial of the old bases. I found it during my exploration by the old bases. And you might find it. Do what you mean. Do what you Okay, these things. Plot is coming to a head. What do you do now, LaRoche? What, no hug? The men know there's something wrong. It's like they can smell the dishonesty. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Uh, lying to people that trust you ain't supposed to come naturally. Here's hoping we're getting closer to the truth. Classified infestation in progress. The are going crazy. We're not equipped to deal with this level of aggression. Please, are you out there? There's been no word from command. You the love of God. Is anyone out there listening? Sarah. Sarah, get the boy. Go down. Leave everything else. Just grab the boy and come with me. It's impossible. I wasn't you were born here. Never said. Sir, if we hold out a little longer, I never knew. General, the evacuation plan. You listen to me. I'm getting my son out of here, and I'm going now. We don't blast off now. Then nobody will survive. Off. Supposed to do now. You left them there. You abandoned the whole colony. Save me. All those people. I'm sure, he did what he thought he had to to save his family. He had a duty, Jim, to those people. Dead, every one of them. No chance. No hope. No survivors. No. No, listen. I have to tell you something. There were... Sir, sorry to interrupt, but we have an emergency. Ah, uh, that's great timing. Sir, it's urgent. Please respond. Hang on a I'll second. I'll take care of it, boss. Jim, come in. The king crab acrid that has been terrorizing the area for months has been spotted in the North Plains. He is public enemy number one. Is that clear? Exterminate on site. I am authorized to credit you maximum bounty for this kill. Oh, lady. I'll put my uncap on. King Crab Acred. Jim, any reason Mr. Braddock isn't responding to my calls? Is everything all right? He's fine, Jay. Just dealing with some bad news. Give him some breathing room. All right. 
So, another bug hunt. The bug hunt, man, a bug hunt. All right. This should be good mission. I do love the PA system uh, banter. It's very Smash esque. It's sort of like how you have some of the, the, the silly PA system announcements in Smash and that sort of thing. If you haven't watched Smash, you should watch Smash. It's on Netflix Instant. It may even be on Hulu. I think this is right. Oh god, not this shit again! I expect. Ooh, that buffer in this. That buffer in this. See what that did. Back in the running.
back in the rig. Okay.
skin off of the part the armor off the character. Use the Valkyrie for the secondary weapon and the grenade launcher for the other one. Perfect. Okay, Valkyrie, wrong idea. Use the hunting rifle because. Because I need something that does a lot of damage. 
<sighs> and that should provide me the penetration I need for the... <laughs> Actual. You copy? The king is dead. That a boy, Jim. We are well rid of that particular menace. Somehow I knew you would be the one to collect that bounty. I'll let Braddock know. Hey, LaRoche, you got beat by that? It wasn't so tough. Took a lot of grenades. Is it an award you want? C'est trois le huh? <laughs> Alright, we'll call this an episode and see you next time.